If you ever asked to draw two dimensional shapes, make sure you make a rough sketch of them first. Let's take the information here. We have a triangle ABC, AB is 4.1, so if that were A and that were B, that would be 4.1. BC is going to be 7.5, so B to C up there is 7.5. And it's angle ABC, so that's from A to B to C, is going to be 50 degrees. So that means this side we don't know. So that's the triangle. I've drawn a just quick sketch. Now I just have to use my um, compass and ruler to copy that triangle. Don't try and do it from the data here. Do it from your quick sketch. So drawing that, I'm going to draw my initial line of 4.1. What's my next step? I obviously have to get an angle of 50 degrees up here. Position the protractor accurately. Make sure the centre of the protractor is actually on the end of that angle. And make sure the baseline of the protractor is actually lined up along the baseline of, in this case, a triangle. Then on this side we're doing 50 degrees from here. We must start counting from naught on this side. You have a naught and 180 on the inside scale. Um, this is a scale we want. It's round to the outside to 50. Make sure we mark a point quite clearly. Once you've got that point clearly you can get your ruler and you can just draw a gentle construction line and that is the 50 degree angle um, in there that's 50 degrees. Now we want 7.5 so we can just go and get your ruler and measure 7.5 that point and then my last line is there. Note I'm lining the triangle dark at the end, my protractor mark is still visible there and don't forget to label A, B and C. 4.1, 7.5. So from my rough sketch I've got the accurate triangle. The previous triangle was called an SAS triangle because it gave you a side, an angle and a side. This triangle is going to be an ASA triangle because it's giving an angle, side and an angle. If I draw the quick sketch, we have YZ equals 8.3 centimetres, so from Y to Z we're going to have 8.3. We have an angle XYZ is 42, so it's going to be from X to Y to Z, so X is going to be somewhere up here. Um, to y to z that's going to be 42 degrees and this tells us that x to z to y x to z to y so that's this angle here is going to be 51 degrees now I've got my rough sketch I use my rough sketch for my triangle I get my ruler and I draw my starting line to be eight point three centimeters I then get my protractor at this end uh, line it up to the centre protractor is right on the end of the line and the protractor goes along the baseline and we want 42 degrees so that's the inside scale on this particular protractor so in fact I'm going to go to 140 which is the same as 40 but then two more so that's going to be my mark for that line and just get that line in then from the other end it's 51 line it up precisely outside scale this time 51 and back and that's my construction lines for my triangle and then I guess I should just darken them up so the actual triangle is in there and then label the sides 42 degrees and that's X Y and Z The third type of triangle is an SSS triangle, a side, side, side you're given. We're given PQ equals 4, so P to Q is 4. From Q to R is 6, that's the next point, so that must be R up there, and that's 6. And then from P and R is 5, so from P to R is 5. So how do I draw this? Start off with the baseline, um, 4 centimetres. Make sure it's accurate. Next, I want to line 
Um, let's do this one, five centimeters. Now, I do not know where to draw that line. There's no angle there to show me the direction of the line. If I do not have an angle, I have to use my compasses. With my compasses, I need to go and measure five centimeters on here. So I put my compass point on five and go back to the zero. That's five centimeters. I now know that somewhere, if that's a point of my angle, I know somewhere it could be up here, it could be over here, it could be here, it might be down here somewhere. Somewhere here, where my pencil is touching, will be the end of that line. I do not know where it is, but if I draw a curve, I know it's going to be somewhere on that curve. The other one is six, so if I measure six, I tend to measure from the back. I put the compass point on six and I go back to put my pencil on the zero mark. Now from here is six. Now six could be over there, it could be here, it could be here, in fact it could be anywhere here. These are all six where the pencil's going. So I draw. if I draw an arc there, then at the crossing point, the crossing point must mean it is six from this end and it must be five from that end. That must be the point at which um, my sides must meet. That is the point there, so I join it back there. That must be five centimeters because it's it, um, touching the first arc. And then from here, back to this one here, must be six centimeters because it's gone as far as my second arc. Um, that's my triangle. PQR, don't forget to label it. That's six centimeters. You could be asked to draw absolutely any two-dimensional shape. Um, here's a rhombus. Construct a rhombus with side length of 5 cm and length of the shortest diagonal being 3.5. What do you do? Well, first of all, you do your sketch. So, quick sketch. F length 5. Let's draw a rhombus. It's um, going to be a diamond shape. I'm going to start with a horizontal base because that's how I like. Now, if that's a rhombus, I've got to have another side which is exactly the same length there. This side must be the same length. It's a diamond shape, you might know it as. Um, that's my rhombus. It's got diagonal. It's got a diagonal there. It's got a diagonal there. Now the rhombus side is five. They're all five. And it's saying here this distance here is 3.5. Looking at that, well I can start with a five and I can work out how to do the rest. So now I've got my sketch. I'm going to copy it from the sketch. The first thing I'm going to do is my baseline. Five centimeters. Now I do not know what angle this line is going to be at. I know it's length 5. Um, I do know the diagonal here is going to be 3.5, but again I don't know its direction. But in fact if I drew this triangle here, that might help me. I'm going to draw, draw that. I've done the previous SSS triangle. Let's draw a triangle here. Um, set this to be 3.5. So 3.5 is somewhere over there. Set it to be 5. That's five. So if I join that up there, this is my diagonal of 3.5. This is my second side of my, my rhombus. Um, now I've got my two corners here. I can draw another triangle here, which is five centimeters and five centimeters. So my ruler still, my compasses are still set at five. So I can go and say, well, I want something five away from here. That's that. And I want something five away from here. So that's that. There's my crossing point. This must be the fourth point of my rhombus. And there you go.